we need a skinny roll of tape and we also need some clear Elmer's glue. And our template for today is gonna to be an outside window. We gotta put some of that tape on the window. Now, you can go ahead and take the tape and mask it to the grid that's already on the window, or you can just go random like I'm doing it. But the next step to this is where to grab that Elmer's glue. Once we get some paint in there, all you gotta do is just go back and forth with it, and it shakes up really nice. Next, move on to your second color. These are our four colors we're gonna go with. Now, because it's on the Elmer's glue, it's actually non-toxic, and I I used a foam brush to transfer it to the window. It's gonna take multiple coats, but the glue and the paint dries really fast. You can actually put a coat on within an hour after you put it on. Once it dries overnight, you're gonna take a knife and very gently, we don't wanna scratch the window. If you try to pull the tape with it out using the knife, it may pull the glue off. Just go ahead and start pulling the tape off. It's another thing. When you're done with this and you wanna change it or just take it off later, it peels right off. That's our final project. In the afternoon, when the sun hits the window, it just glows inside the room and gives it multiple colors. We are gonna make some beautiful home decor items using clear Elmer's glue. Up first, we are going to fill this vase with the clear glue. Then we're gonna add in some clear and white decorative pebbles. Now I'm gonna grab some faux flowers. Now I'm just going to stick these into that glue. Once you've got them arranged just right, set this aside and let it dry. Now you have a permanent floral arrangement that looks like it has these water and stones in the bottom of it. This is gonna look great in your home. Next up, we are gonna grab a couple glass mason jars. So you're gonna grab a small dish and you're gonna fill it with clear glue and a little bit of water. I used about two tablespoons of glue and about one tablespoon of water. Then I'm gonna drop in a little bit of food coloring. Then stir it up until it's mixed really well. Grab your mason jar, make sure it's nice and clean. Pour that dark blue mixture into the jar and swirl it around so it covers everything. Once you've swirled it all around, you can dump the excess back into the original container. Now we wanna let this drip for a little bit. Let it drip for about 10 minutes. Take a paper towel, wipe off any excess drips that are around the rim of the jar. Then place this upside down on a piece of parchment paper. Pop it in your oven at 175 for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, take it out, turn it right side up, and let it cool completely. These jars make great decor around your home. Just remember, you, they're not bases. You can't fill them with water, but you can definitely display some dried flowers in them. I'm gonna take the piece of glass out, and I'm gonna draw a grid of squares and rectangles with black puffy paint. When that's done, I wanna let that dry completely. So I'm gonna use a little bit of clear glue and a few drops of paint. So on that piece of glass where we added the puffy paint, when it's completely dry. I'm just gonna use a popsicle stick and transfer some of those beautiful blue colors onto the glass. But a little goes a long way because you don't want this to run over the black line. Once everything is done, you can grab a toothpick and go back and just pop any of those bubbles that are in there. Then set this aside and just let it be. Once it's dry, pop that glass back in the frame, set it up by a window, and you have a beautiful piece of faux stained glass for your home. The carpet in my office needed to be replaced, but it just wasn't in the budget. But corn and crumpled paper was. Mixing equal parts of glue and water, I made the paste for the floor. Using a wide paintbrush, I applied the glue to the floor, making sure I got underneath the baseboards. Then I laid down the paper and brushed the glue on top. I continued to apply the glue to the floor, then the torn paper, and then more glue over top of the torn paper. I switched out my brush for a foam roller to cover larger areas, but I kept the brush to use underneath the baseboard. After the glue dried, I applied stain to the floor using a foam roller. After the stain dried, I applied coat after coat of polyurethane. Using a lamb's wool applicator made this process so easy. I really love this floor, can you tell? I hope this inspires you to tackle this very easy project. Quick trip to my local Dollarama. Separate the layers. Cut the napkin so that you have enough to cover the body of the jar. Now I'm using some clear glue mixed with a tiny amount of water painted onto the side of the glass jar. Then lay down the paper nap and then using a piece of scrunched up plastic wrap Use that to pat down the napkin and eliminate any wrinkles that way. Draw around the lid because that will be the right size and cut out the piece of napkin. Stick it to the bottom of the jar in the same way. Using the same process, cut out a circle for the top and a little strip for the edge and stick it in place. When it was dry, I decided to give it two coats of a gloss varnish. I have taken a battery operated puck light and stuck it into the lid of the glass jar. And here are my finished chinoiserie jars. Don't they look great? 
I made a trip to my local dollar store. Taking a terracotta pot, I draw a very random shape. Taking the clear glue, I pour some onto the side of the pot, picking up some of the blue gravel and pass it down. I then put some of the silver glitter glue around the edge. And here is my geode terracotta pot. So I put two spoons of cornstarch and two spoons of Elmer's glue. And that's what we're looking for. I'm going to use this really lovely mandala stencil. Going very carefully, I'm now going to apply it. The whole stencil is covered and now for the moment of truth. Very, very, very carefully lift this off. This is the next day now. I left it overnight to dry. Also sanded it very lightly. Okay, just going to give it one coat. I'm going to leave that to dry now. Just look how subtle this little design is on this tabletop. And all that with cornstarch and glue. It's really amazing. So we're going to start with this cellophane piece here. So I'm going to make the line here. I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Just put a clear dot, or you could run a clear line. And next, I'm going to go ahead and place the cellophane onto the glue and glass. So I'll go ahead and continue putting the glue and the cellophane up on all the windows. Here it is, all finished, and I could be more thrilled. I took the table apart, separating the glass from the metal ring. Laid the glass on top of the picture. I mixed two parts white glue to one part black craft paint. I outlined the sun. And once the lines had dried, I cleaned up any lines that were too thick by cutting them away using a utility knife. I painted the background using a one inch wide brush. I added designs to each panel. I gave the paint two coats of spray sealant. I used a medium grit sanding sponge. I painted the metal bright blue. The table looks great in our outside space and friends can't believe that I painted it. I'm going to stick these grasses and weeds to this glass cut off these extra bits on the bottom. Now I'm going to stick the tissue paper to the vase. I'm going to use a glue stick and then just rolling it, pulling it tight on this side, some more glue down and gently stick that in place too. I'm going to go around and just trim and just see how pretty these are. Really, really simple project to do. Mm -hmm.